During his recent visit to Spain, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri toured Navancha's headquarters and engaged in discussions with the company's executives. The focus of the meeting was Navancha's shipbuilding capabilities, particularly its potential to supply vessels for the Philippine Navy and Coast Guard. Navantia intends to support the ambitious plan for the modernization and improvement of the Philippine Navy and Coast Guard, showing its capabilities and experience in the construction of ships and naval systems. Navantia aims to support the ambitious plan to modernize and improve the facilities of the Philippine Navy and Coast Guard service, showcasing its capabilities and expertise in ship construction and naval systems a photo accompanying the report features a scale model of Navantia's Avant series of corvettes which could be considered for procurement by the philippine navy under its ship acquisition plans in the horizon 3 phase of the revised armed forces of the philippines modernization program it is worth recalling that Senate President Juan Miguel Zabiri has been vocal in expressing his support for the modernization of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, particularly in response to China's assertive actions in the West Philippine Sea. The scale model presented to Zabiri closely resembles the corvette acquired by Saudi Arabia from Navantia. The Avant family of ships, featuring different sizes and configurations tailored for various missions, adheres to a unified design standard and philosophy. This approach allows each ship to draw upon the knowledge gained from prior patrol vessels, enhancing overall design and performance. Avant series encompassing a comprehensive range of missions, including research, support, patrol, and combat, and featuring displacements from 300 tons to 3,000 tons, the Avant family spans the entirety of patrol vessels. This includes configurations such as missile launches, hydrographic vessels, coast guard vessels, high-altitude patrol boats, and combat-ready patrol vessels. It would be remembered that in the initial phase of AFP modernization, Navantia engaged in the frigate acquisition project but ultimately lost to South Korean Hyundai Heavy Industry, primarily due to cost considerations. Primarily due to cost considerations. Generally due to cost considerations. Should Navantia decide to participate in the Philippine Navy's future requirements for new warships as part of the Horizon 3 phase of the RAFPMP and beyond? It is highly possible that they might also tap Austal to build the ships locally if the technical specifications and terms of reference of PN shipbuilding projects include clauses for transfer of technology and local construction. While it may be more expensive for the Philippine Navy compared to the drop price offers from South Korean shipbuilder HD Hyundai, which enjoys subsidies and support from the South Korean government, Ultimately the Philippines needs to have the capability to build its warships by Philippine-based shipbuilders with Filipino workers and suppliers. Defense Chief Gilberto Teodoro Jr. said on Friday that possible amendments to the procurement law for the modernization program of the armed forces of the Philippines will be likely. In a recent media interview during an event in Cebu City, Teodoro said revising the policy on purchasing military assets for the AFP will come along with the government's effort to boost the country's self-defense posture, which is firmly backed by various legislators from the Senate and the House of Representatives. I am happy to report that the Congress has promised us two things, the amendment of the modernization law and the procurement law of the armed forces, he told reporters. During an official event in Cebu, Defense Sec. Gibbo Teodoro expressed his support for the participation of Cebu-based shipyards and industry in the AFP modernization program. He highlighted impending changes in the AFP modernization law and government procurement law, as well as strengthening the Self-Reliance Defense Posture SRDP, program which will allow local participation in supplying the AFP with weapon systems and other materials. This includes ships for the Philippine Navy. It would be remembered that one of the shipbuilders based in Cebu, Australian shipbuilder Austal, 
was supposed to deliver offshore patrol vessels built in its shipyard in Balamban and designed in the Philippines but did not push through after costs went up due to inflation and the cost increase of shipbuilding materials. The DND may reconsider these options again in the future as the Philippine Navy continues its modernization and expansion efforts.